Hello, Internet. She just loves you. My name is Cody, and this is the Christian News Show we do on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays with GeeksUnderGrace.com. Speaking of which, make sure you check out our Geeks Under Grace YouTube channel because I now have a show on that channel as well every Sunday. As of right now, I'm calling it This Week in the World of Geek, and so it's kind of just a catch up of everything geeky. I'm really excited for it. It's going to be a lot like this show, so I'm kind of familiar with what I'm doing. Plus, I get a few more days to actually do it, so the quality is going to be a little bit better, I think. It should be a lot of fun. I want to know what you guys have to think about it, so make sure you go to that channel, check the video out, comment on it what you think, um, say that you saw this first and you went there because that would be cool too. And before we get into like real newsy type stuff, I did want to mention one other thing that's kind of a prayer request for people. If you're being affected by it, you probably already know about it, but it is really cold in the northern United States right now. I know I saw negative nine degrees in some places. I know my South Dakota friends, because I used to live in South Dakota, are going, well, that's just a normal winter for us. But it's come a little early and it came very quickly, so there's a lot of people unprepared. Just prayers out to the people that are involved. Stay warm, stay at home, watch some YouTube videos. I have a lot of them anymore. And so our first real story of the day is a shout out to Chick McGill. He is a 68 year old pastor and Vietnam veteran who also happens to be walking 3,200 miles from North Carolina to the other side of the country. And of course, it's all evangelical. He's got a big American flag he's walking around with and he's just telling people the gospel. Not that those two are really related in any way, but it's still really cool. I mean, I have a problem when I have to walk 3,200 yards. And from that, we're gonna make a terrible transition from something that was really cool to actually some really sad news. A private jet crashed the other day, killing nine people. I told you we're going dark fast. The people that were on this plane were well-known pastor Miles Monroe, his wife, and then seven other people that were with the couple. The plane crash was most likely due to severe weather. And so that being said, the family of Miles Monroe and the seven other people that were involved, their families as well, could probably really use your prayers. And our final story of the day is also a sad news story, but it also should invoke a little bit of anger, at least it does for me. We haven't talked about Boko Haram or ISIS or any kind of Islamic terrorist groups in the last couple of weeks, but that doesn't mean that things haven't been happening. They just haven't been headline news and easy to find. It's what really bugs me about mainstream news sources is because because they find something and they'll talk about it for a little while and then they just stop caring. With that being said, there was a suicide bombing at a school in Nigeria. Most people do believe that it was Boko Haram that did it. If you're wondering why they would do something like this, it, it's Boko Haram and this is just what they do. With that being said, it bugs me. I didn't want to have to talk about it because it's two very serious news stories in a row and I was like, well, maybe we could just not mention it and gloss over it, but I think that's the wrong thing to do. So I hate when you guys are like, why don't you ever talk about good things? And I try to, but some things like this happen and I have to let you know. You, you should be watching a news show knowing that you are going to learn things about the world. And as much as I'd like to not talk about certain things, I just it would be a disservice to you guys for me to do so. And because I'm doing my best to try to land on a positive note, our question of the day is going to go back to the guy that's walking 3,200 miles for sharing the gospel and evangelizing to people. What is the craziest thing you have ever done or seen someone else do for their faith? I guess for me, it would be starting up a YouTube channel. I want to know what you guys have to say, so please leave a comment in the comment section below with your answer. And then check out geeksofthegrace.com, at least the YouTube channel, so you can see my little video that I made over there, because so, I'm so happy to do it. I'm, it's exciting to be like branching out and stuff. Anyways, my name is Cody RV, Christian News, and I'm not so boring got away every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And closing with the haters hate, let the Christian spray. And to everybody like, subscribe, I will see you later, and God bless you right there. Love you.